Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and I make videos all about technology, engineering, computer science, lifestyle, New York City, a bunch of different topics. You should definitely like and subscribe to my channel. But today is going to be a super fun video. It's going to be all about how I worked in a WeWork for a day. So I just wanted to give some context before diving into this video. I know there are a lot of common questions, so I just wanted to answer the things that I think are going to come up the most. So one, WeWork is still in business. I don't know how their company as a whole is doing, but they're definitely still operating and in New York City there's an app called WeWork On Demand. You can actually reserve a co-working space on the app. It looks like this, basically a map of where there are different rooms and then you can see kind of what they look like if you go through them or the different locations that they're in. So different spaces in different locations have a range of prices for just a space in the communal seating area. I believe that's like 25-ish dollars. And then for a private room, it goes to 50, 60 dollars. But it also depends on the location of the co-working space and what prices they offer and their availability. I'll just leave a link to the app in my description. But without further ado, let's get into my day of working at work. experience. Usually Clayton is so friendly and he was today. He was just running around with the other dogs and then he kind of attacked another dog. I mean he just pins him to the ground. He's just playful and the owner of the other dog got so mad at me. I was like he's just playing. He didn't hurt the other dog. They're just playing around. Anyway so now we have to leave so I guess your walk's over buddy. from WeWork. Today I'm working at a WeWork just for a change of pace to see other people and I can tell you a little bit about how it works since it's COVID, it's a weird time. So I was actually supposed to have my own room but instead they just gave me this entire floor of their office because obviously there are not a lot of people here. So that's actually super nice. I just have my mask kind of on my face though when I'm working because they have people who are coming in to clean sometimes and they have like a kitchenette over there. I'll give you a tour of where I'm working in a sec but yeah 
yeah, some people just stored their lunch there. So there's people around, but for the most part, it's just me up here. So that's nice. I can talk to you guys and I can vlog a little bit. But yeah, so WeWork On Demand is open in New York City, which has been cool. I don't know how long it will be open, but it's just a nice option to get out of the apartment. I feel like I'm really not productive at home. So it's just a good general change of pace. But let me show you around the area where I'm working today. So coming up over here, we have the stairs, which lead up to the second floor, which is basically the floor that I'm on by myself. And then over here we have the kitchen area. This is a nice kitchenette. This one's actually off limits because they have an open one downstairs just to reduce the amount of people who are touching things. And then they have this sweet green outpost, which is funny. And then over here we have these benches and tables. So this is just general area to work. And then if we come around here, we have more of the comfortable section. This is like the couches and different chairs. And yeah, that's basically the whole space. So here are some more steady shots of the space so you can see it clearer. This is my second or third time here. I've gone to different ones in the city, but the way that it works is you get a little card like this and then you can book where you want to work through the app. Once you register for a place online and then you fill out like this COVID screening form and stuff, then they activate your card for the day and then you can just go into one of the locations and just swipe in. So yeah, now they actually have like free coffee and stuff. So I'm going to get some of that and then I'm also going to use a bathroom and then I'm going to go back to work. Okay, I just got my coffee. The one thing I don't like is they don't have straws here. Such a minor concern. I'm actually here with other people, but we're just all in different rooms for COVID reasons. But I do think we'll get lunch together and I'm trying to lobby for sweet green because there's not one close to me and I love sweet green because I'm incredibly basic. In terms of work, I just deleted a whole bunch of lines of code from our system, which has been great. We're trying to get rid of stuff that people no longer use, but I just had to get it reviewed by like, I don't know, 20 different people just because it was so much code that was touched and finally it was accepted. So I'm moving that along to QA, which is just quality assurance. It's another engineer we have who just makes sure that everything I did isn't gonna mess up anything else. So I wrote a really long test plan for that and he's gonna go through that now. This sprint in particular, if you've seen my other vlogs, I feel like I'm working on very similar things. I have to deal with another security vulnerability in our system that was exposed actually a few months ago, but it's pretty low priority. And also I'm going to review a couple resumes. Y'all sent me some of your resumes, which is great. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link to my website on the screen where I do actually review resumes. And if you're a woman or an underrepresented person of color, I'll do it for free. So let's get to it. Have it on my way up. Now it's really far down. I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground In October it feels like summertime Okay, I just addressed some of the security vulnerability stuff, which I think should be good. Um, I'm having someone else look it over just because I'm not 100% sure that I patched everything up okay. And now I'm just gonna look at some emails. I have some stuff to catch up on that I just haven't done today. It's just some stuff sitting in my inbox. It's like action required, but I've just been doing work instead. Usually this doesn't happen. I'm pretty good with emails and slacks, but today it kind of just got away from me. There's a lot of stuff around this point in the year where they're trying to assess how we did last year and how we're going to do moving forward where they need people's input on things like that. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit. I also volunteered to make an infographic for a project that we're launching at work, which is really cool, but I haven't done like digital design in so long, um, probably since I was in college, unless you count YouTube thumbnails, which are so easy, so I'm not counting that. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to find like a template or some ideas online on Pinterest and then go from there because I'm not a designer and I kind of forget a lot of things. So just some color schemes and some outlines of things that might look good. 
clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day Like day by day Okay, I took the lazy approach and Pinterest was too overwhelming So I just googled re-infographic downloads And I found one that I liked, so I'll show you So I'm gonna use that But now I'm also on call this week So as part of that, I need to look at all these code reviews From people not on my team that impact my team's work That's just how we share that rotation and that burden of work I'm gonna do that as well And then I'll get started on my infographic So this is the infographic I chose super easy and then I can just edit it in Illustrator and the download came with a bunch of different files so if you're interested in that I just googled free infographic templates and I found this one on this website with a bunch of different ones so that was super easy and I hope editing it is not that hard as well. Okay, we have some meetings now in my day. So we have retro, which is where we talk about the last sprint. If you haven't seen my previous videos or you're not familiar, a sprint is just a length of time that engineers do work in. So it's like a time boxed amount of time that we're supposed to get a certain amount of work done. So we have retro to talk about how the last sprint went and sort of plan for changes that need to be made for the next sprint based on the previous sprint. And then after that, we have sprint planning, which is where everybody decides what work they want to do for the next sprint, which is usually a few weeks long and people assign work out to themselves. And then we're going to work on that for the next length of time. So those are basically the most important meetings that I have at work. So I have those now. Okay, hey, today has honestly been such a weird day. We accidentally worked through lunch, which I didn't even notice until now because it's four. I guess I thought I was hungry, but I didn't realize it was four and now it's four. So that's cool. <laughs> I actually have a doctor's appointment nearby at five. So I think I'm gonna leave around now and just see if I can walk by Trader Joe's on the way and see what the line situation is. If it's pretty short, I might just stop in for a sec. Then I have to go to the doctor's. So I'm just gonna pack up my stuff. It's been a fun day here. I'm actually not even hungry. You know how you feel kind of hungry and then you don't eat and then you just become not hungry after that? That's definitely what happened to me, but I'm sure I'll want a big dinner later. Honestly, I kind of miss my dog, so excited to go home and see him. Let's get to it. God, he's so cute, right, internet? Guys, check out this cheese sampler from Calder. From Murray's, so you know it's legit. Ooh, prosciutto. Prosciutto. Yum, cheese. Ooh, aged. Sometimes when he gets tired, he just sits. Okay, you wanna keep going? You think you're all big and strong, can go on long walks, but then you wanna go home. Now we're FaceTiming.
morning, Cindy. Hi. Hi. Okay, oh my gosh, sorry. This is Steve Buscemi. Anyway, we're gonna... We're gonna watch The Bachelor now. But yeah, if you don't know Cindy, you should definitely check her out on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. She has some really fun videos. Also, I featured her in a video as well. And a new bell as a sea. So we hear that I still appear inside your dreamland. Weird that I still appear inside your sleep. And does he know about our time inside your ramp cycle? And that I'm on the way where the night goes.